world is connected, and with it, the opportunity for hacking. So this was a group that we had been following and that we knew was a threat. The attacker's after something, and you want to find out what they're after. Remove their power, contain them, and then put them out. We want to change the battlefield. Our mission is to protect the safety of all the data we manage for all of the billions of users and customers of Google Cloud, whether it's health, energy, transport, finance, public sector organizations. We make sure that we, we defend and protect that every day, keep it secure, keep it private. I'm Phil Venables. I'm the Chief Information Security Officer for Google Cloud. When we think about defending the cloud, it's very much the same as defending all of the rest of Google. We have various different groups inside Google overall that are working together to protect our customers. Threat analysis group tracks attackers, analyzing threat actors that are developing techniques against us. There's many other teams that build defensive systems, build software, manage the firewalls, all these other tasks. Our job is to really understand what the threats are, provide that ground truth that allows us to really focus the security efforts of the wider team. When you understand your attacker's motivation, how their techniques are evolving, you can feel comfortable that your defenses are evolving to meet that and stay ahead of that. Then we have detection and response every single day monitoring our entire environment, looking for signs of attacks. Our focus is on gathering the information we need to put the story together. Is there an attacker here? And if there is, then we activate our response team. We like to think they're like a digital immune system. The more you can get information about what's going on, we'll be better defended. Every day, every hour of the day, 100% dedicated. Just all about how we try and stay ahead of that threat. Red team, it's really important to aggressively test ourselves. So we, we have some of the world's best attackers that are working for us. How would they go about attacking things? With every exercise that we run, the, the number of things that an attacker can do becomes less and less. We all look at the output of those exercises and determine if there are things that we can build into the cloud products so that they can get defended from the lessons learned. And then we also spend a lot of time working with external researchers, the so-called bug hunters. If they find an issue with any of our products, they can notify us of that. We fix that. In order to prevent errors, you have to study them. Bug hunters play an important role in looking for bugs from all kinds of different perspectives, which is really, really valuable. If you're coming from the outside, you might notice something that somebody who's on the inside might have actually not noticed. If that vulnerability is discovered, despite the best efforts of, of all of our organizations, you want that discovered by somebody that's going to tell you. Then we have Project Zero, active vulnerability research, looking at where vulnerabilities exist, not just in Google products, but in other products as well. We don't really care if you're, you know, working on another platform. Your security is important enough to us that we're going to invest in that. We have to think about securing the cloud overall, not just Google Cloud. We're giving away our hard-earned experience. We'd rather do that because it defends everybody. More and more organizations are moving to the cloud. Our job is to deeply partner with our customers and their IT and their security teams to help them secure things in the right way, to get their businesses operating, their mission satisfied, without having to worry about the detail of the technology and how to defend it. We detected a highly sophisticated and targeted attack on our corporate infrastructure. I didn't used to think that a foreign military would come after us, and now they obviously are. This was something that we'd never seen before. A new kind of problem. It's not just country versus country. All of us are somewhat on these front lines. It's their job, 24-7, to try to break into places like Google. Hope is not a strategy. 
you need a team of professionals with exactly the right knowledge and expertise. It's mildly ominous. <laughs> to do the kind of work we do, you need to cherry pick the best of the best. I might qualify it by saying I'm an ethical hacker, but yes, I'd say I'm a hacker. Definitely consider myself a hacker. 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 I wear mostly hoodies for some reason. <laughs> this is very serious. The attacker's after something, and you want to find out what they're after. The attack happens over Christmas. Santa may arrive late this year. Someone is always rattling your doorknob to see if it's unlocked. We're constantly testing our products. Car companies crash their cars to make sure they're safe. So do we. So much more is at stake now. Human rights. Privacy. Professional life. Personal life. The entire ecosystem around an election. It's not just securing Google, it's securing the internet. I'm in this battle because I believe we can win. Hunt them down, contain them, and then boot them out. Burn it down. If any attackers try to get in, I want them to have a very bad day.